I'm never about to be defeated by a wig. <laughs> There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Divas. Hey, divas. Let me tell you now, D. So, you guys, if you're ready for this, just get ready and let's get into this video tutorial. First, I did receive this wig and it is from Amazon. For this one, I definitely had to do some work. So the wig is a 24 inch loose wave and it does say, I think if I remember correctly, cause you know, like my memory isn't that great. It's a Brazilian Remy Virgin human hair wig. Okay, so it's loose curly or loose wavy, whatever you wanna call it. 24 inches, 150% density. And like I said, it, this, it does say Brazilian Remy virgin human hair. So you guys know with virgin hair, it's unprocessed, it's not colored, it's none of that. You know, you could just do whatever you want to it and you'll be good. So when I got it in the mail, it did come in this box right here, okay? And it did come with some elastic or an elastic band and I already used that to put in a wig and it also came with these really nice lashes, which I also used too. And it also came with this wig cap, okay? So anyway, so when I got the wig, you know, I got it in the mail. Thank goodness that same particular day I was bleaching um, some knots on some frontals, okay? So, you know, I don't really like to go back to doing something. If I'm going to do it, I want to do it all at one time, whether it be five or six frontals or wigs, bleaching or not. So I'm going to just do it all at one time so I can get out the way. So I went ahead and I did this one. Okay. So I left this on for like 40 minutes to bleach. Okay. So I did use 30 developer and I also use this new bleach that's out by Salon Pro. And it's more like, like a clay bleach. It goes up to six levels. You know what I'm saying? It's for any type of hair, any hair color. It doesn't leave it brassy or anything. And I was, you know, I like it. I like it. And it is, and it actually is a different texture. So I went ahead and I bleached this. I put it on, I bleached it for like 45 minutes. And when it was time, I rinsed it. And I noticed that the knots were still all dark. And I bleached it for like another 40 minutes. And same thing, it did not lift. Now I'm just going to pre-pluck the hairline like I normally do. And I'm just going to put some makeup on it. So as I was pre-plucking the hairline, while it was kind of like, I want to say, probably like 75% dry, I noticed that my hands became really dark and like dirty looking. I'm just going to go ahead and basically, you know, style this. So we're just going to get into this room.
Okay, you guys. So let me tell y'all. Um, it wasn't that much work, you know what I'm saying? I just wish I would have known that it was dyed because it does say color 1B. And if it's virgin, it's actually natural. There's really no color. It should just say natural. But that is the cons about the wig that the lifts, the knots did not lift. Now, the pros about it are, okay, first of all, it's 24 inches, hunties. Ooh, my lash got stuff. It's 24 inches in length. So if you like that long hair, this is like definitely for you. It's $183 on Amazon for 24 inches, okay? And the hair texture, though, if it's not virgin, the hair texture is still bomb as hell. Like, it's very soft. It's very silky. It's lustrous. It's really nice, and it's easy to manage, okay? So that's the one thing that I do like about this unit, even though the knots did not work out for me. I mean, I like the darkness colors. I'm used to wearing the dark colors. But I do think, like, the hair is, like, really, really pretty. Like, the hair is... Y'all know I love me some loose wave or loose curl or whatever they want to call it. I like it, too. I love this type of hair and curl pattern because then I really don't have to do anything. The density is 150, so it's actually really, like, a believable unit. But you're going to have to do some work for this one. Like, seriously, you're going to have to do some work. And what I'm suggesting may not be for you, especially if you don't have, like, that much experience in the wig world. But if you are willing to give it a try, then I definitely would say... Get you some good foundation that matches your skin complexion. You know what I'm saying? Use the one that you use already on your face if you wear makeup. And get you a nice small makeup brush and just apply it on the knots. If you use pressed powder, it's definitely not going to work because it's pressed powder. It's powder. It's going to definitely, eventually, going to vanish off, disappear. It's just going to, you know, be gone. So I really suggest like either, a, I would say a foundation because, and I would definitely say the foundation that you use because of course everybody's scalp is lighter, but I would rather my scalp be the same identical complexion to my face versus it being too light when I go outside and it looks chalky and white and everybody's like, oh girl, she got on a wig. Okay. So I would rather it be my actual foundation that I apply on my face. So that way it's all like, you know, mashing together. Now, you really need to make sure that you put the brush, the foundation on the knots in the front. Now, here's the trick to this. Make some wispy hairs, not baby hairs, because baby hairs are like the ones that, you know, I call them wispies because, as you guys see, they're not pasted down. They're just brushed. They're just brushed down. And when you brush them down like so, okay, you can also form a kind of like a design. And, you know, you can actually brush it a little bit up so that way the dark knots are not as noticeable as they would have been if you used or just did baby hairs you know a lot of times baby hairs are like glued down gelled down whatever and you can still kind of like tell that it's a natural or unnatural look so when it comes to like curly hair i definitely would say do yourself a justice and just brush down the hair you can cut some of them in the front and just brush it down with a good toothbrush and you don't have to brush it in any particular style just take your toothbrush and just you know just do it go downwards go downwards and kind of like you know curve it up a little bit curve it up a little bit so that way you're definitely hiding the knots in it and you don't see them now for this one i i just didn't want to put on any type of hairspray except for on the hair right here to hold it up. I didn't want it to, I didn't want to adhere it to my head. I didn't want to glue it down. I didn't want to do all of that work because honestly, not everybody wants to do that all the time. And like, you know, you don't need it, especially if you have like an elastic band, like for real, this elastic band y'all got my wig laid. Okay. Like seriously, it really, really does. The elastic band is really sometimes all you need depending on the hairstyle that you're going for. Now, if you're wearing a high bun, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out in your favor. But if you sew that elastic band on like perfectly, hunties, you'll be good to go. So I think with the elastic band, it definitely worked for me. I just put them where the combs are at on the temples and then I just make sure that it's snug and tight. So that way the wig is laying flat to my scalp as it is right here. Like there's no buckling, there's no lifting. The wig is actually really, really tight on you know I could lift it up but you don't see any buckling but I will say this I'll give them this much okay on a scale of 1 to 10 what would be my ratings I would probably have to say like a six to a six and a half only because you will have to do some work to it you will need to you know add some foundation if it's not virgin and it has been processed you know dyed the, the knots are not gonna lift if it's been dyed okay 
So if you cannot bleach the knots of any lace front, then I would highly suggest taking a small makeup brush and your foundation and just taking your time because this is going to take a few minutes and just dot, dot, dotting it on and kind of like brushing it in. Okay. That's how it will work. And just brushing the hairs down. Don't have them like glued to your head. So like this looks really like average or, you know, natural because of the hairs, you know, the little wispy hairs. I wouldn't say go overboard with the foundation. I would definitely say just use what you've already got in your stash that you've used on your face already. But for the most part, you know, I did have to do some work. I really, I didn't really have to do that much work, but I do feel like I did um, bleach it twice. So that is part of the work and I did pre-pluck it. So that is part of the work. But in the long run, you know, I made it work for me, girl. I'm like, I'm never about to be defeated by a wig. Okay, so let's be honest. I have been defeated by quite a few wigs, but I wasn't about to let this one defeat me. So at the end of the day, it looks really decent, okay? Mm -hmm. The hair texture is like bomb as hell. Like, this is some really nice soft hair. It's very manageable. I do like that. It did shed, and that's probably because, you know, of course, I was pre-plucking the hairline, and then I washed it. But, hunties, I love like the flow of this for real this is like some pretty loose wave hair for 24 inches you know i don't really wear it this long but i do like this one right here i like this you know i didn't really put too much foundation on the unit to camouflage it too much i just put it in the areas where it's noticeable i'm not gonna go all the way in the back and just like do all of that i just put it on the areas in the front to where you can definitely see it if you were to you know, walk up on me. And you may want to bring it back just a little bit. It depends on your preference. But for the most part, it worked out good, definitely with my foundation and just the method. Like, I'm glad I didn't have to glue it down. So you guys, on that note, I will see you on another video. All the information will be down below. Hello? Where's he at? He is? Okay, I'm ready. All right. Okay. All right. So I was definitely about to go because my son and his girl are about to push. Well, my son ain't about to push the baby out, but my new grandson is being born today. Today is November 19th and, um, oh no, excuse me. Today is November 18th and I am totally excited. So yes, he's about to Instagram or, you know, video chat me so that way I can see him come out and I'm so excited you guys. So I love you. And I will see you in a soon to come video. All of the information will be down below for you guys. And on that note, stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. And on that note, I love you guys and have a great holiday.